Marcus K. Herring E. N. G. 101 August 8, 2014 Son, have I told you I loved you yet today? No dad you sure haven't. Well I love you man. These are the little things my dad would do to show how much he cared for me and my brother. When faced with the question who is your biggest role model I always find myself stuck. Not because I don't have one but it's the fact that it's too hard to pick just one. Throughout my life my parents did an amazing job with surrounding me around different cultures and ethnicities so that I can have an open mind towards life. You know those parents who call your name 100 times in a day to get you to do something for them? Yeah, that's my dad. Back then I always thought that he was lazy and had it out for me. Now that I'm older and I can look back on it I can see that he just did these things to prepare me for the real world. Working my first job I was able to realize that you can have a boss that will be able to complete the simple task but instead they choose to pull you away from what you're doing so that you can do it. Just like my dad did. This taught me that no matter how mad and frustrated you get about situations like this you can never cave in. This is the real world where things aren't done for you and you don't always get your way. You have to work for the things that you want in life. By no means is my family considered upper class. Growing up with the dad that I had he showed me that you have to be able to work with what you're given. It does no good to complain about how your life isn't how you want it. He said, if you take the energy you use to complain, you can put it towards a greater purpose and actually get things accomplished. This stuck with me mostly because it's true. It does no good to complain. It's just a waste do something about it. His favorite quote is, if you do what you've always done then you will get what you've always gotten. If you want something you never had before then you have to do something that you've never done before. W.E.B.Dubois I try to always keep this in the back of my head. Growing up as a kid we always traveled a lot. We went everywhere together. Family trips with my mom. Dad and brother were our way of bonding together. Which seems odd because most families either have game nights, eat dinner together or even just watch T.V together. Not with my dad he was always trying to stay as far away from the norm as possible. By staying away from the normal lives of others and introducing us to different views and cultures it showed me to never put up a fake front to fit in. You are your own person remember that. He always says, growing up with a dad like mine, you were always afraid of getting in trouble. Not because of the whoopens, but more because of the look my dad would give me when I got in trouble. It was more of a, you let me down son look, which was heart-wrenching. I would have much rather taken a belt or hand to the backside. This made me grow as a person though. It showed me that physical abuse is not the only hurtful way of being declined. It showed me to always think before I act. Would dad be mad at me if he happened to pop up right now? These are things that would constantly remind me of my actions and if I was doing the right thing. My dad was such a good role model to me because he wasn't too controlling. He would allow me and my brother to make mistakes so that we could then learn from them so we would know what not to do. He wouldn't prevent us from making choices. Which really helps. Sometimes you need to be your own advocate and look at the decisions you're making to make sure you're doing what's right. Make sure that you're not doing things just because your friends are partaking in certain activities. Yes dad I'll call mom once I get there. He was always looking out for me without being too demanding. That's why my dad is one of my biggest role models. He's someone you can go to for advice with anything no matter how bad or embarrassing it is and you wouldn't have to worry about the judgment. Having someone like this in your life is a vital necessity. That's why I'm lucky to have someone like my dad.